What does it mean when you keep having dreams about selling your home or others selling their home? Plus, do podcasts truly help someone activate their voice? Where can they find how real it can be? My name is Harrow. I'm a daily writer, a silent wolf. That means I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch, listen, study, then activate. I call it the daily mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw things to the side because we're going to deal with it later. Maybe. When a subject arrives inside of me, I know it's time to dig in. It's still keeping that daily journal, but by doing the research, the picture becomes clearer. This is the daily mess. As of late, my wife has been having a lot of dreams about friends and families selling their homes. What does any of this even mean? Sleep experts say it comes with so many different interpretations. A home represents a person's identity. It's how we view ourselves and others. Dreaming about homes being sold represents a point of transition. You're either being invited into a new role or you're exiting one. This is also a time in your life to check in on how well you're taking care of yourself, physically, psychologically, spiritually, as well as financially. Dreams about selling homes can easily symbolize a fear of appearing in front of the world, a lack of self-confidence. In fact, Sigmund Freud believes a house in our dreams represents internal thoughts, and each room is that of a different feeling. It's also been written that dreaming about homes being sold could be a calling for change. Moving into a new home can be an amazing experience. One spiritualist even says such dreams can mean you aren't being truthful to your expression. And what is seen as natural is actually being forced into action. Hey, coming up next, there are multiple millions of podcasts all over the streaming services. But if you want to find your voice, the question is how and where? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Daily Mess. There are millions of podcasts flooding this age of streaming. People have a lot to say, but is what they're sharing their voice? When I first entered this world of podcasting in 2012, there were no experts or consultants. Today, they're like churches. There's one on every block, and they all claim to know the right way. Through research, I've learned that hosting a podcast is a great place to locate your voice, meaning sharing your views and experiences. It creates a connection with people in so many different communities. But to get there, the podcast professionals remind us to be authentic. And I love this rule, too, that they always say, please don't sound like you're a radio person. Make your subjects relatable to the community. So many great people start a podcast but end up breaking free of it because the long-term vision has evolved into other layers of thought. Again, the podcast pros remind each and every one of us to know who our listeners are. Staying focused on them is essential. Put thought into your categories and be willing to expand. There's money to be made, but what are you really trying to sacrifice and are you really trying to make money or just get your voice out there? to make a difference in a community or around the world. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.